Hello everyone, Simi Dad back here again on our Debt Free Owner Operator Series, episode 56. Let's go. I hope you are all well. I hope you've had a great week so far. What have you been up to? Our truck is in the shop with Jake getting the engine and stuff done, so we're out of action on that one for a little bit. Uh, he had a contact um, <clears throat> that was doing some oversized hauling around the area. Uh, we actually had to travel a little bit, so we're in... Um, we are in Wyoming again on this one. We've got this whole truck chassis, and uh, we're going to haul this. We've got some escorts with us. I'm not a huge fan of escorted loads, but thought Let's we'd give going. it a go with the, the channel. Of many foreign nations await your arrival. Turn We've got the, um, the Mack truck with us. That's what they've given us. Um, we've got two escort drivers, one at the front, one at the back. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how we get on. See, so, yeah, I think the gross weight on this was like £190,000 or something like that. Turn right. It's not not a uh, not a light vehicle by any any stretch of the imagination. Let's say we've got the two escort drivers with us, uh, which are the police vehicles up there. They will do the job allegedly of ensuring the flow of traffic is free and clear. We don't have to stop at lights. In we've got the right of way by all accounts right. in most situations. So. Just get it Turn going. Right. So yeah, hopefully we're all good here. Yeah, like I said, I've done I've done a couple of special jobs before. I'm not a massive fan because I've I've always found that whether it's my fault or their fault, I've always found that the um, the escort drivers don't do what you expect or what they say to do on the guidance, so you end up failing the mission. They do save the um, the checkpoints more frequently, so we will see this job out even if there is a fail on a checkpoint. Um, we are going to see this job out to completion. Pay-wise, not particularly great. Uh, I think like 200 and something. 200 and something for the job. Turn left. Which, it's not great. We've been paid better. But, um, it'll do something different. It's not something we've we've hauled before any of the special loads. If you do enjoy it, do let me know in the comments if you want me to do more of these. Um, I don't think we'll have the power to do it with our own truck. I don't think there's any chance that that's going to happen, even with the new engine. But if um, yeah, if you do do enjoy this episode um, with the uh, with the uh, with the um, the heavy load, keep right and do let me know. So I'm nothing if not a man of the people, guys. No. Keep right. And pin. Turn right. Turn right. Right, let's uh Yeah, we go through Casper, Wyoming now. From my from my memory, I think it was from Casper, Wyoming to Gillette, Wyoming. I so said we've had to travel a little ways to, to get the job, but it's all comped by the uh, by the company, so there's no no uh, no trouble there at all. Uh, Jake said it should be a couple of days for the engine and parts to be fitted, so we may end up doing another one of these. Depends on uh, on how we go.
I said, because normally, in my experience, I've always had issues with the um, the escort drivers at junctions and stuff like that, and they do something that's not what you expect them to do, so you don't copy, and then you get a, a job fail and reload. So if there's a ton of those. Then we're going to uh, probably we'll just finish this one and do that one. But if we get this one done clear. We may we may pick up another one or two. Just depends on uh, on how long it takes for the truck to get done. So far, so good. Just got to be wary of this traffic passing on the left. As we are wide, 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 wide. Seems like we're stuck to a 40 mile per hour speed limit. to be uh, doing these uh, outside shots with this huge load. So you can see what it's looking like. Zero chance of us having to pull in for a, a way station, but it would be interesting to see the exact weight of uh, Truck and trailer combo, considering the, um, the the cargo itself was, I think, 190 something pounds, thousand pounds. Yes, uh, so far it's going all right. trying to keep over as, as much as we can to let the passing traffic through. Yeah, 100 and, uh, I think this job was 140 something miles. So not a long job. It's going to be a slow one in comparison if we were just hauling regular cargo because obviously we've Restricted to 40 miles per hour plus the the escort drivers, however fast they go. It will, um, yeah, we'll work it out. Keep right and then exit right. So we're uh, coming off here. Exit right. Gonna watch the signs. Offices. Thanks for stopping the traffic. Let's do a perimeter check. We're going to have a problem here because this truck is going to be blocking our way. But 
as I said in the beginning, we've got the right of way. We've got the law on our side, the police. ourselves a uh, collection of vehicles along the way stopping the way for us which is absolutely perfect doing, uh, doing what they need to do yeah man not a fan of the hills yeah Bob. you could do it 80, still 80 miles out, guys. Still uh, making great progress, though, I think. Progress is being made. Sideswiped by another truck. Which I think that's what the, the police car in front is doing every time they veer to the left when there's another truck coming. I think it's to sort of make them stop. Continue straight. Oh, I'm continuing, Morgan. These tight roads. This is going much better than I expected it was so far, touch wood. Um, like I said in the beginning, I my experience so far with the special cargo jobs hasn't been great. So it was... Um, Keep right. It was always a bit of a... Uh, is this going to work out alright kind of situation. But so far, so good. So far, so good. I uh, hope everyone's had a good week, a good uh, whatever you've been up to. We are um, in the full swing of the kids' summer break from school here in the UK. I think probably everywhere in the world that operates a kids' summer break policy is, is probably in the swing of it. Um, so we're just trying to keep the four kids entertained. The older kid, he's not uh, he's 14, so he's not that, you know, doesn't want to spend that much time with us. He's firmly in the moody teenager stage of wanting to just lock himself away in his bedroom all the time. Which, that's fine to some extent, but on nice days, try and get him out. Having a constant battle with him at the moment is to leave his bedroom door open. Um, <clears throat> not through any, you know, he's not doing anything dodgy in there, it's just warm. So, when he shuts the door, it gets really, really warm in there. Because he's... Um, some insulation works done on our house about 18 months ago part of like a government scheme and his wall is his bedroom is his external walls on three sides so those three walls are insulated and uh, the 
result is in summer it makes it quite hot in there. So yeah, we uh, constantly battling him to keep his door open to let let the air circulate. He always defaults to shutting it. Keep right, and then turn right. right. Can have a little bit of external view now, so we can get the uh, get the corner without turn crashing. Right. Yeah, but oh, that was tight. So in my opinion, again, maybe I'm just being nitpicky, but I feel like they should have had a state trooper down on the down on the left side here, in the left lane, stopping traffic coming up all the way to the junction. Uh, but that didn't happen. Never mind. It is what it is. It's just how we roll. We're consummate professionals. We can handle these things can handle these things. Alrighty, let's roll, buddy. Let's roll. It's a nice day for it. I'm glad it's not raining because that would be terrible. Flipping and sliding all over the place. Continue straight. Thank you, officers. Thank you. Thanks for stopping the traffic, guys. Doing an amazing job. Keep it up. Credit to the force. Boys are going to, have to move, huh? Oh. It's something. In. That's all the money for the job gone, but whatever. Again, comes down to why was there not a trooper on the other side of that bridge stopping the traffic temporarily? We'll take it though. It was our fault. Yeah, that probably wipes out any profit for the job. It's all good. Have to uh, watch ourselves again here. I think I'm going to let this uh, truck past. Hopefully that doesn't get me in trouble with the uh, with the police. Just watch. I'm going to end up clipping on that. It's too stretch of road is too narrow because there's nowhere for me to go. And obviously, they're letting this truck pass now. I'm hoping I'm winging a prayer we can get through. It's so close to delivery, four miles out. All right, let's go. In 400 meters, turn right. Turn right. There we are. As expected, we're going to some kind of mining operation. State troopers pulling in. So all us, baby. Right, Newmont, your new haul truck chassis is arrived. Undamaged, despite what the papers say. All in all, actually, to be fair, it's not been a little bad, not a bad run at all. Uh, with that one little crash, which you know, I'll take that on the chin. 
do feel like they should have stopped the traffic on that narrow bridge, but it is what it is. But yeah, all in all, I thought much better than I expected. I was expecting a lot of stops and restarts and stuff like that um, with my previous issues. But yeah, like I said, not too bad at all. Pull up here. Break on in the neutral. And there we have 128 miles, four and a half hours, 22 gallons of fuel, but that didn't come out of our pocket. $201 earned. We did get that fine, so we did uh, did lose a bit of money on that job, but it's all good. If you did enjoy that episode of uh, some, some uh, special loads, then let me know in the comments if you want to see more of those. Then we can try and disperse some of those into the series. Uh, we'll we'll check in with Jake and we'll see if the um, the truck is ready and we'll pick this up in the next episode. But until then, if you have enjoyed the episode, guys, if you uh, can hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already and take care. We'll see you in the next one.